Hi, I'm Addison. My roller racer is Cassie. Hi, my name is Ranger Cole, and many people ask me what would I do if I came across an injured animal in the park. Most of us have come across injured or abandoned wildlife at some point in our lives. But do you know what to do? Should you leave it alone? Should you pick it up? Should you call someone? Since most people are unsure of what to do, today's topic we'll, we will discuss is how and when to help injured and abandoned wildlife. Before handling or disturbing wildlife, it is important to first determine if the animal it really needs your help. It is, usually is easy to determine if an animal is sick or injured. If you notice an obvious injury, like a bird attacked by a cat or a bird with a broken wing, the animal needs your help. However, it can be difficult to determine if the animal has been abandoned or orphaned. Before you move an animal, call a wildlife rehabilitator, such as Native Animal Rescue here in Santa Cruz. If you come upon a baby bird that has fallen out of its nest, return the bird to its nest, even if you can, if you can safely reach it. It is, common, it is a common misconception that a mother bird will reject her nestlings if you handle them. With few exceptions, birds do not have good sense of smell and will not reject their young if they have been handled. Likewise, if you come upon a nest of bunnies, do not immediately assume they have been abandoned. Baby bunnies are typically fed at dawn or dusk. Mother bu bunnies ha often leave their young alone during the day and return to them in the evening. If you are concerned, it is best to call the native animal rescue before taking a nest full of bunnies. Once you have determined that an animal needs your help, how do you transport it? It may seem obvious, but never attempt to rescue dangerous wildlife by, by yourself. Coyotes, foxes, bobcats, raccoons, skunks, rattlesnakes, and even deer can be dangerous if they're injured and scared. In general, avoid handling adult animals because of the risk of injury. Another reason why you should not handle wildlife is the risk of rabies or other animal diseases. In the United States, bats are the most common source of rabies, but it can also be found in raccoons, skunks, foxes, and coyotes. Because of the risk of rabies exposure, never handle a bat. Call your local native animal rescue or animal control officer for help. If the animal you are calling about is safe to handle, make sure you wear proper gloves before touching them to protect yourself against animal diseases. Gently transport the animal using a towel and carefully place them in a secure box lined with paper towels. Be sure the box already has air holes punched in it. Keep all wildlife warm and in a dark, quiet place away from children and other animals. Do not attempt to feed the animal or rehabilitate the animal yourself. Not only could this harm the animal, but it is against the law in many areas. Instead, take the rescued animal to a wildlife center as soon as possible. In the event that you cannot find a rehabilitation center, contact your local veterinarian for assistance.